because the seed of hate and anger has been cultivated then there and it's better to take it out of other people than look at ourselves but you cannot cross this bridge of consciousness and reach a higher level unless you turn inwards and look at your own self and walk into your fear and darkness. It's much easier to nag about it. I can't find my love. I can't find someone to be with. I can't. Da, 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 da. I say this because I've done that. Okay? I say it because I've yearned this because I did whatever I could to entertain myself and fill up the gap with drugs, alcohol, sex, entertainment, anything to distract myself so I don't have to be alone in this place facing this sense of loneliness and abandonment. until existence forced me to do it, until the master came to my life, the guru came, the grace came, and revealed this. Turn my attention inwards. Before that, I was in ignorance, and I was suffering, like millions of people, and trying to fill up this empty space with more things. Things. Boyfriend, girlfriend, cats, dogs, pets, cars, homes, traveling, vacations, restaurants, shopping, whatever. Anything I can do. Or projecting it on other people looking for the lover i have to find my partner i have to find my partner i have to find my partner and putting this pressure and projection on other people so maybe i can calm down momentarily this fire this pain You understand what I'm saying? Are you with me? Beautiful. Anybody has any questions? Anyone likes to make a comment? Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hi again. Hi there. I, hi. Uh, I think it's, it's very great what you're saying. Uh, I don't agree with it fully. Uh, my experience is that there are also people who, who don't have abandonment issues with their parents who have had their first true love affair with someone who eventually turned into abuse. And that has conditioned them for for being that this is love. Uh, so so I, I think it's that it's a bit simplified to, to put it all in the, uh, being abandoned by your parents uh, group. But I've, I fully see, I, I work with people exactly like you who were like, oh, I got to get back to my boyfriend. But wasn't he the one who abused you and hurt you and got you hooked onto drugs and stuff? Yes, but I love him. And it's like, okay, <laughs> I understand. But I just want to point out that there are different ways to see this, uh, in my opinion, and judging from my quite a few years of working with people. And I also want to add one thing uh, in relations to, to the dogs. Um, 
I've worked with, I'm on my second dog now, and she is not a dog that I put in a, in a hand basket and, and carry around. She is something that supplements me in my work as a healer, as a therapist, and other the spiritual path. Um, and I, that kind of makes it difficult to, to hear what you're saying, that this is me sort of relieving my abandonment issues um, with the relationship with her. Uh, I, I don't really see, I do believe I see myself pretty clearly. I've been on this path for many, many right. years. Right. So, so, are you, so I would like to comment. I would like to comment on that. Uh, that there yeah. are, yeah, yeah. Uh, first of all, I appreciate that you're walking out and sharing with me what you feel, and I am happy you don't agree with me. So that means you were listening partially to what I said, but you didn't hear everything I said. So. A, this is a deep imprint that happens in the very, very few days of being born. So later on, so this imprint of abandonment happens almost immediately as you were born. Now, later on, with some of us, it may get reinforced or deepened. In your case, that wasn't the case. You grew up maybe with your parents and you didn't, you weren't abandoned. Neither was I. I grew up with my parents. But not when I was born, not in the first week or two. There are times that they put me in my bed or somewhere else and they weren't there. Maybe they weren't there. Maybe they were there most of the time, but there was five minutes or 10 minutes or half an hour that I was left out. And that's where the very first imprint of abandonment takes place. Regarding the pets, I said it clearly many times, and I will say it again. I have nothing against pets. I'm not insulting or putting down anyone having dogs or cats. I'm referring to those who must have a pet around them all the time, carrying their little dog in their bag wherever they go, okay? Not because they don't, they're not dog lovers, it's because it goes back to this sense of being lonely and they cannot tolerate being alone okay so I want to clear this so we're on the same page yeah exactly but I do appreciate you or anyone come out and disagree with me I don't need anyone to agree with me or not agree with me and I'm not insulted if anyone is not agreeing with me or they're criticizing me I'm okay with that because that is a part of this culture, growth. We're only going to grow if we can express ourselves and be open to it. And criticism or disagreement is a part of that. So I encourage it. But in the meantime, I feel like being clear about it. Okay? Thank you, my brother.